I just want to share a little something with y'all real quick. But um, I was at one point in a relationship where my mindset and the mindset of my partner did not mesh completely. There was a lot of components that did mesh, but um, I would say our mindset or attitude towards things didn't really mesh like that. And uh, while I'm going for my own goals and dreams and things like that, uh, it's very important to keep my mind in a certain state in order to stay motivated because the reality of my situation is not also matching, you know, the reality of what I see possible for myself. And um, just in order to maintain activity and uh, see life through a different lens, you have to keep your mind very healthy. Um, and it's hard if you're with a partner that battles your perspectives. Or for me also, you know, I'm going for something that looks impossible to many people. You know, being a famous, successful rapper, artist, entrepreneur, it's, it's, it's few and far between that people witness people that they know that are successful in that. Most of the people you know that have a lot of money, sell drugs, do scams, whatever the means is of normal seeing wealth, right? That's a lot more common than what I'm going for. So at this time, the person I'm with was not, um, wasn't even fully able to believe in what I was doing also. And um, it's hard to battle that, to battle like, like almost trying to convince this person, yo, like what I'm doing is real. Cause all they can see is the tangible reality that no nigga, it's not real. <laughs> like, what are you doing? But you know, it's, it's real for me. So it's hard for, to convince somebody that doesn't have that same belief, that same mindset, you feel me? And you know, at this one day we got into like this, uh, wasn't even an argument, but where we was just feeling like we may have to take time apart from each other. And I was ruminating, and it was like a break, per se. And I'm not a fan of breaks. This break only lasted two days. But during these two days, I was ruminating on it. I was thinking, thinking on myself and what part I played in it, what part they played in it, what value am I adding to them? What value are they adding to me? Is there any value left? Is there anything that we're even holding on to? And um, in this time, I'm doing a Uber Eats drive, right? And I'm just ruminating, ruminating, ruminating. And I drive, I'm driving around, and then I look to my right and left, and I've been in this neighborhood for a cool maybe five, five minutes driving in this neighborhood because it's a big ass neighborhood. I'm not even noticing that the houses, every house, looked like a fucking mini resort like mansions mansions on mansions on mansions on mansions every single house in this fucking property was mansions and it was a big ass property i was driving it for like five minutes and i was ruminating on that relationship so much that i did not even notice that i'm driving next to some beautiful ass mansions and that's when it hit me. That's when I was like, oh, this isn't good for me. Because my mind, where I'm at, I would be looking at these. Yeah, that's mine. Okay, I want that part of this house. I want that part of this house. And I'm gonna embody the, those feelings. And I'm gonna appreciate the fact that I'm even there, that I'm even looking at these houses that uber brought me to this fucking neighborhood that i never seen before or even knew existed and it was close close to where i live so the fact that i was ruminating on that so much that i was literally missing hella houses of blessings just right in front of my face i did not see it for mad long like i'm not exaggerating i could not see these fucking mansions at all because i'm just 
in a fucking days just <laughs> just thinking about this shit this relationship and then i was like nah instead of a break it should be a break up and so i want everybody to assess the value and the cohesion of the relationships that you have whether romantic or platonic how do those relationships help you mentally, physically, emotionally to get to where you're trying to go, to get to the person that you want to be? If you say you want to be this or that, and you have a best friend that is everything that's the old self that you don't want to be anymore then in a sense, you don't really want it. Not that bad, at least. So, just think about that.